More than two years ago, Amazon subsidiary Zooks unveiled an electric autonomous robo-taxi it built from the ground up. Now, the cube-like vehicle that is loaded with sensors and not a steering wheel is starting to roll out on a few public roads in Northern California. A solitary Zooks robo-taxi made its inaugural launch on public roads over the weekend after the company received a permit from the California Department of Motor Vehicles, the agency that regulates autonomous vehicles in the state. The vehicle has also passed a self-certification from the Federal Motor Vehicle Safety Standards. The scope of Zooks's launch on public roads is limited however, it does mark another milestone for a company that launched quietly eight years ago with an ambitious goal to build and operate a commercial robo-taxi service with its own purpose-built vehicle. The company has been testing its custom robo-taxi vehicles on semi-private courses in California since last year. This weekend was the first time the vehicle carried passengers on public roads. Initially, robo-taxis will only be available to Zooks employees and run as a shuttle service on about a two-mile loop between the company's two main buildings in Foster City, California. That sounds simple, but it's not. It's a very complex route. The route will include right-hand and left-hand turns, several traffic lights, pedestrians, bicyclists, as well as navigating in a parking lot and making bi-directional turns, which the Robotaxi is designed to carry out. The employee shuttle service is launching in the spring. Zooks did not disclose the size of the shuttle fleet. The company has built dozens, not hundreds, of robot access and plans to add more of the vehicles to its permit with the DMW in the coming days. It has been assumed that Zooks robotaxis would need an exemption from the federal government under FMVSS, because the vehicles don't include traditional driving controls such as a steering wheel or pedals. Neuro, another AV company focused on delivery, received an exemption in early 2020 for its low-speed R2 vehicle, 